Today we're working on the bath and uh, pretty scary. Drilled a nice big hole in the floor and what we've managed to do is find a fitting from like a caravan place was it? RV type thing? Yeah. Which uh, we've cut the hole out for here that goes in there. And then this is there. And then we're going to screw him up. Screw him up when he's in there, obviously. And then that'll sit flush like that. Excellent. And uh, we bought this today. So this pipe will go inside here. Like that. And then we'll cut it to size and then fit it in here. And that's basically it. And then I'm going to get onto the van and feed it through if we need to. Oh, if we need to. When I need to. Yeah. Stage one. Stage one, yeah. Begins. So now we have the tube in, but it's hitting on some of the metal. So we're going to go under the van where Frank already is. Half. and we're going to pull that pipe through so I'm going to jump inside and hopefully we can pull that through Jassie, oh my god she be through mate so then you're just going to cut that off does it tie? drainage, done, boom yep well done darling yep. awesome so the bath drain is now in and it's gone through the floor uh, down through the chassis there's a little gap there um, Fancy Frank got under the van and did that, which is very good. So it's now sitting in place, ready for us to put some supports around it now on the frame. Um, we're going to hook up the hot water service, attempt to, but at least the drain's in because that was that was a hard one, Mike. Wasn't it? Yep, it was. Drainage! Who would have thought we'd be so excited about a drainage hole? <laughs> <laughs> waste pipe is in which has gone now through to the bottom uh, we've also done the frame around the edge of the bath which will pop some timber over the sides so it all looks pretty now we're moving on to the back section so we'll grab the water tank the hot water service and the pump and figure out exactly where it's gonna go um, cut this bad boy to size pop it in along the back wall there somewhere um, the tap and the handheld shower fitting will actually attach onto that somehow so that's what we're gonna tackle now have our nifty little hot water service here, which is tiny, runs on solar. So we're just going to figure out where everything goes, the pump, the tank, and the hot water. A little bit of scratchy scratchy of the head, trying to figure out pumps. And taps and inlets and outlets and a whole lot of jargon that we don't understand. Yeah. Oh, it's an exciting day today. Filling up the water tank for the first time. The sound of water flowing into our van. A little daunting. So the water tank's set up, the pump, the hot water. Now you might get the fill, I might. Now yeah, testing everything. Very good. So far so good. As you can see, we have removed the water tank and the pump. Um, fortunately, we tried to use it today and realized that the water wasn't getting to the pump. So the tank 
has to be higher than the pump or the pump lower than the tank, one or the other, um, for the water to feed down into the pump and then pump through the hot water system. So, back to the drawing board. I'm redoing all of Frank's work that he did yesterday. So this morning we are testing, oh it's hot, that's hot, testing the hot water, oh it's really hot, <laughs> and I can hear the inverter going, and Frankie's just adjusting at the back. Is it still hot? No, it's cold now. Just trying to get everything right before we put all the covers on and figuring out what the sounds are. So, step one. So, uh, you can put the power on. Power's going on. Pump's on. Pump's on. Are we going hot or cold water? No, just cold. Yeah, yeah go cold. Um, she's all working though, no leaks. Happy, yay! Let's go. Boom, boom. Little trickle to start with, but then look at that pressure. It's like mains pressure, baby. Boom, boom. I can have lots of showers. Frank's done a magnificent job. So we have our 100 and 114, 114 litre. litre water tank, which will be hopefully big enough. Um, that is connected to our flow power pump, which is running on our DC. Um, Frank has done some lovely conduit here, so that all runs to our load centre. Then we have the hot water service, um, which caused us lots and lots of heartache, but is now working properly. And that one runs on AC, so that goes through the inverter and is normal AC power. And then it runs through that little hole into our bath. Um, it's all secured, all works, awesome water pressure. So we can pretty much have normal showers, which is ace. And we still have some storage space, so very, very happy. So now that the sides of the bath um, are on and all the plumbing is done, um, it's time to create a tabletop for the bath, which will also be our dining table. So we've got these uh, pieces of pine lining, which have their little click in and out system. Um, they've all been cut to size, uh, care of the lovely man of bunnings. So now we'll just join them all up, glue them on, and then this is the colour we've chosen to paint. It's called Peachy Dream. It's very dreamy. And it matches really well with our blue, looks nice with all the other decor in the van. And so that is our job for the rest of today.
kitchen table. Awesome. Not bad indeed. <laughs>